Hello, everyone. My name is Jima, and I'm from Nanyi University of Science and Technology. It's my great honor to present our work. This is a joint work with many great uh, collaborators. Recently, incorporating digital transform maps of ground truth into segmentation science has been an interesting new trend. There are many good studies edited in this slide, but uh, these methods are tied on different datasets, and the comparison among them has not been well studied. This work has two main contributions. We first summarize the latest developments of the combination between CNN and the DTM, and classify them into two categories based on their, their main motivation, new loss functions and adding accelerated tasks. Second, we benchmark five methods on two datasets. Ultimately, we want to answer the question, how can data transform maps both segmentation convolutional neural networks? Here are the basic notations of DTM and SDF. DTM computes the distance to the boundary for each pixel inside the object and takes zero outside the object. Well, SDF takes negative values inside the object, positive values outside the object, and zero in the boundary. These are the mathematical formulations of the three loss functions. Boundary loss is based on the hard model product between SDF of ground truth and soft max probability. Cost of distance loss uses the DTMs of both ground truth and segmented mask. Well, SDF rely on the SDF of ground truth and the segmentation mask. Um, the second category is adding accelerated tasks. Um, both multi-head and reconstruction branch cells aim at regressing the DTM. The main difference is that uh, multi-head cell shares the whole backbone network. Well, the reconstruction branch cell only share the encoder network. We evaluate uh, the file methods on two typical datasets and use VNet as a backbone network. Four metrics are used to evaluate the segmentation routes. This table prints uh, experimental routes on left atrial MRI dataset. It can be found that all methods have potential to improve the baseline's performance. Hot of distance loss obtains the best dice and J card in the loss function categories, while some distance function loss achieves the best boundary based matrix. Regressing the sound distance function can provide better performance than regressing the distance transform map. Next, we evaluate the window methods on liver tumor CT dataset. It can be found the boundary loss obtains the best performance. However, sound distance function loss, multi haze and reconstruction branch cells do not improve the baseline performance. The potential reason may be that it is much more challenging to regress the sound distance function or distance transform map of liver tumor than um, left atrial. Uh, finally, we give the take-home message. Uh, in terms of better death score, our first try recommendation would be multi haze and reconstruction branch science for organ segmentation and boundary loss and hot out distance loss for tumor segmentation. It should be noted that it should be noted that uh, in implementation details have remarkable effects on the final performance. Um, there's still an unsolved open question: How can we obtain robust performance gains when incorporating data transform maps into convolutional neural networks? Our code is publicly available. The main Limitation in this work is that only VNet and two datasets are used for experiments, which is not justified at all. More extensive experiments are required in future work. Thanks for watching.